stop getting too dramatic about the 40-year-old athletes from the world. Like, Manny looked so much faster than Keith Thurman. Like, I mean, like he, he looked like the young guy. Yes. What he Senator Manny Pacquiao successfully defended his WBA title twice last year, even at the age of 41. Excellent fight, bro. Wow. I got Pacquiao edging this one out, bro. If Manny Pacquiao was 30 and Keith was 30, could you imagine how quickly this fight would end? Oh, man, it's been a massacre, bro. Massacre. He's a father of time. Uh, time doesn't catch up with him. Very aggressive. I think he surprised everybody. If at age 40, Manny Pacquiao's <laughs> fighting Keith Thurman. One time Thurman, 29 and 0, 30 years old, accomplished welterweight out there. Uh, at age 40, Floyd Mayweather is fighting uh, 19 year old Japanese junior featherweight. You understand, I was praying for Pacquiao all week. I had my rosary around my neck, like Pacquiao used to come into the ring with his rosary on. What a, it, and you know what, hats off to Keith Thurman as well, bro. Listen, got up from a knockdown, showed some heart, and made a good, very good fight out of it. Wiley, Wiley, here are the tickets. <laughs> I was like, well, like, you coming? <laughs> uh -oh. He's an eight-time champion in eight different divisions. You know why? Because he could throw them hands. That speed that he has actually killed. and I was so happy, you know, that, that I was, that I, that I, that I, uh, that I was wrong. But it was very tense. Oh, <laughs> I was with some people and they're like, whoa! Oh, like, yeah. Wait a minute, this old guy can still kick? Manny, I've never seen a fighter gasping for air who decides to take out the gum shield yeah. and then just breathe. And then, okay, right. let me put the, I've, never I've never seen that. I've never seen that oh, either. Like, Boxing is not Disney though. There's not a ha lot of happy endings. I, I hate to bring up this question. The Mayweather rematch. Pacquiao controlled the fight. Uh, stayed aggressive throughout the fight. At that age level, to be able to go out there with the young guys, to be able to dominate and control the fight, to me, that's extremely impressive. Pacquiao still being the flashbacks of Pacquiao. A guy that can box either way. Five, six, seven, eight, many styles. And a lot of it got to do with lifestyle. To witness it, to be alive, yeah. to witness him still. For him, like, he's an animal. When Manny Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez, Marquez when he went face down, sleep, I said, yo, he'll never fight again. I was 100% wrong. He was fighting, like, less than six months later, I think. Yeah. Winning. Beating people up like it never happened. He was fighting people for the title within a year like it never happened. I never seen a man like that. If you get hit like that, it's like a gunshot. Yeah. This is an unbelievable type of human being. Well, if I had off to Manny Pacquiao for his brilliant performance. Earlier in the day, we were at a pool party, and I overheard you telling several people you thought you could beat Pacquiao. There's no think to it. <laughs> <laughs> And now, CJ, in the in box. I told all of y'all what was going to happen. All of y'all, bring y'all ass in here and bow down. You think about Pac-Man, that mother at heart. Respect to Manny Pacquiao, respect to his fans. I mean, he fought like he was 30 years old. Your next fight needs to be Errol Spence Jr. In a monstrous unification fight. You know what I'm saying? It does. Well, the, the good thing is, is that Charlie over the first couple of years, coach. I'm doing a good time. I don't know if he's got one. Honestly, Thurman was the man right there, you know? So Thurman was the man. Maybe Manny Pacquiao will be confident enough to get in the ring with the winner of Errol Spence versus uh, Sean Porter. But no matter what happens from this point, this definitely proves how great of a fighter Manny Pacquiao is, and it definitely proves how great Floyd Mayweather is, obviously. If you're a Manny Pacquiao fan, tell me this. Are you really, really proud of the Pac-Man now? My old man was almost in tears, he was so happy. I was almost in tears, I was so happy. Philippines, we talk tonight. You're awesome, man. <laughs> I, I think it's incredible, and him and Floyd is probably inevitable. It's you know, Manny just won the title at 40 mm -hmm. years old. Um, I want to see that Pacquiao and uh, oh Earl Spence, Earl Spence. Yeah. There you go. And then there's Mayweather who shows up at that fight and talking. I, like I think that would be a good fight too against Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather. Uh, I'll watch it. A 30-year-old should lose to a 40-year-old in any sport. <laughs> period. <laughs> For him to reinvigorate his career mm -hmm. at 40 years old, I, I can't help but be impressed myself. Uh, what I have accomplished is, uh, this is a uh, grace and a uh, favor from God.
the grace of God and your support. 40 years old na at when I knocked him down the first round, nagkaroon siya ng, ng takot siguro. Really big difference because my opponent is a good talker. <laughs> good. Yeah. When will we expect to see you back in the boxing ring? Definitely not this year, but uh, next year, early next year. Definitely, yung mga kalabang ko boxer. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> wala pa pa tayo mga... Wala pa, wala pa pangalan. In Floyd Mayweather, the second time inside the boxing ring with him. Any news on that hopeful uh, fight with Floyd Mayweather? To fight uh, again, uh, especially to have a rematch with me, uh, that would be good. Uh, ano po ang masasabi ninyo? Mayweather, yung mga Instagram jobs, nauna siya. Mm. Uh, I think the fans uh, need more, one more. You, you'll be really open to uh, May Pack 2. Uh, I have no problem with that because uh, I'm, I'm still active. So another... Sinasabi ko lang English para maintindihan niya. <laughs> <laughs> signs of slowing down or retirement in your professional boxing career? Retirement, uh, wala pa. Malakas pa ako. Nag-umpisa pa lang. <laughs> Nag-umpisa pa lang. <laughs> <laughs> Then Fire of the Deck, a trio shortlisted why Manny Pacquiao is not in the list. Manny Pacquiao has been snubbed by WBN and not being even shortlisted. This decade you can say, well, does someone else deserve it? Possibly. But the fact that he's not even been shortlisted in the top three is kind of is surprising to me, if I'm honest. Very, very surprising. See, he's the first fighter ever to win in, in four, four decades. An A division. Plus, he skipped two. How did Andre Ward get in there? He had some good fights, but... Yeah, he, he should not be there. I don't think he should. <laughs> Fight of the decade. Oops! Manny Pacquiao kind of made it easy to pick him. You know, Gennady he can't go Gennady Golovkin was the most dominant throughout the whole decade. Yeah, that's a good thing. Next, Sports Illustrated has made Andre Ward fighter of the decade. I'm, I, but I'm gonna go with Manny Pacquiao. Interesting. That's but it's the fact that at, at his age, yeah. he's competing with the young guys and he's still asking for more smoke, as we like to call it. He's not really picking and choosing. I respect that he's- After the win against Keith Thurman at age 40, Manny Pacquiao re-entered the Ring Magazine Top 10 Pound for Pound Fighters. Will any of those guys be there at 41? Fighting the likes of Keith Thurman at 40, 41 years old. Like I said, that just demonstrates the type of character it takes. Four decades has held a title. People have the audacity to argue and debate who is the GOAT. God bless many Pacquiao. He also has a case for greatest fighter pound for pound who ever live. If a fighter moves up out of his natural weight class and can still compete and started tearing through divisions, a better pound for pound fighter than Floyd Mayweather, and actually a guy who has a case, whether you think he'd win it or lose it, I want consideration as the best fighter who's ever lived. Y Pacquiao, porque Pacquiao todavía está y todavía fue campeón del mundo el cabrón. Si Claudio Margarito did mostly Marquez, he lost to Tim Bradley, which wasn't a loss. He lost to Marquez, then he beat Brandon Bradley, Algeri, Bradley again, Jesse Marquez, Matisse, Broner, Keith Thurman. I think Pacquiao. I think Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is the greatest fighter ever. Yeah, see, Floyd, Floyd's amazing. Well, he was like half a fighter in the decade. The whole ten, not five well, years, not six years. Manny might be the best fighter, even though, to me, he's accomplished a lot more than Floyd has. Okay. So, he only fought for half the decade. He retired in 2015. Well, I, I like Pacquiao. Pacquiao's a good fighter. He's my favorite. When he fought Mayweather, if anybody would count the punches, I said, them numbers don't add up right. So, at your greatest, were you better than Floyd? Absolutely. Floyd Mayweather, the best fighter in history. Please, give me a break. Who's the best welterweight of all time? I would have to say Ray Leonard. I agree. Thank you. Better than Floyd? You know, he was fighting you know, Tommy Hearns and Duran and, you know,
know, Hagler and all these, you know, Hall of Famers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they was fighting in their prime, too. Right. So, you know. Rocky Marciano got his ass kicked. He fought for that O. He fought the best fighter. They beat his ass. He came back. So being undefeated doesn't mean anything if you don't push yourself and go through the test. Boxing is my, is my passion, and I love it. I love doing it. Was a devastating knockout when he was eating the canvas. People thought he was dead. What does he do? He still comes out and he fights. People still pay money to watch his fights. He is loved throughout the entire world because he's captured the hearts of the people. Manny Pacquiao is the fighter of the decade. The greatest boxer ever was Ali. Fighter of the decade. My fighter of the decade is Manny Pacquiao has fought every single fighter out there. Should at least be strongly considered as the fighter of the decade. The biggest uh, uh, Mayweather fan in the world is the boxing guy at Yahoo Sports, Kevin Ioli. He gave it to Floyd. Yay, Floyd, you're our man. Despite what Yahoo Sports said, Floyd Mayweather, fighter of the decade, it's something going on with that. Pacquiao right now is on a high right now. Even a guy like Thurman, man, you know, you got to rank. That's high. That's up there. That's a young gun, bro. But if Pac can pull that off, if he can pull off an Earl Spence win, oh, man, I'm not talking about maybe he gets Mayweather. I'm talking about, like, dude, he, you can consider him easily, easily, easily top three best of all time. Floyd Money Mayweather to become fighter of the decade? Oops. Me, myself, personally, I would have given it to Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. fight Floyd Mayweather had this decade was against a 42-year-old shot to pieces Shane Mosley, in which he almost got knocked out. <laughs> he sucker punches Victor Ortiz. <laughs> Floyd also ducked the peaking Miguel Cotto. That was part of his reason for retiring for two and a half years, or two years, or whatever it was. Then Miguel Cotto took a beating while Floyd was retired from a cheating margarito. And then he took another beating from Pacquiao. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I'll fight you. Now I'll fight you. He fought McGregor, a guy that wasn't even a boxer. All time, top 30, 40, and height-wise and all that. The difference is, he could have never beaten Ray because Ray was a closer. Right. Ray wanted to embarrass you. Ray wanted to annihilate you. He didn't want you to finish on your feet. My whole problem is, if you're going to get fighter of the decade, and I feel that it should be the full decade. Manny Pacquiao should have won fighter of the decade. I don't know what you have to do in this sport to get a real eight division titles or 50 and all eight division world titles I, i've always wondered uh, if you could change one fight in your career change one outcome which one would it be not the lost one <laughs> i think uh, the those fights that uh, i'm not uh, i'm not well prepared no i was prepared in that fight but um, it's happened that way yeah. for uh, for me to learn a lesson if you ask me about you want uh, undefeated and in your career or you want your career um, to have losses. So I pick to have losses, to learn. Fights a bum, Robert Guerrero. <laughs> Next he fights a wet behind the ears Canelo Alvarez, who he weight drank. Marcos Maidana beat Floyd and got robbed in the first fight. Manny Pacquiao taking on Keith Thurman makes it official that his career is better than Floyd Mayweather's. Pacquiao had one arm. Floyd got caught juicing after the weigh-in. Enough said. He had the judges on his side. The scorecards were laughable, but it was close. Manny Pacquiao was all about challenges. Boxing is the best metaphor for life. And there's points in his career where you think about your own life, where you feel that you were cheated, where you felt that you just got blasted out of the water and everyone's laughing at you because now you're at the rock bottom. But Manny Pacquiao got up. And for Floyd's final fight of his career, you had Keith Thurman and chasing around, you had Kel Brook chasing him around. All those fights would have been better at the time than goofy Andre Berto. When Floyd Mayweather had that opportunity, he took Berto, not Keith Thurman. But when you look at Manny Pacquiao against Keith Thurman, you have anxiety, especially as a Manny Pacquiao fan. 
the best metaphor for life. The BWAA should be ashamed of themselves. Chocolatito, even Golovkin, even Canelo, who I'm very critical of, because I think he's a cheater too. They fought the entire decade. Not half of it. I think we need the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Money Mayweather rematch now more than ever. I wasn't even for that fight. But really, now that they're splitting decades, I think you can't get, you can't compare these guys even no more than you can compare them now. I think now the rematch is is just inevitable. Then I built the wild, the wild card gym, hoping that, you know, some young prospect might come through my doors. And then this guy named Manny Pacquiao shows up one day. After one round on the miss with Manny Pacquiao, I knew he was special. Now he's the fighter of the decade. He's the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Thank you. Mm. I present the fight of the decade award to the Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao. Good evening, everybody. Poverty confronted our family. Poverty challenged my youth. In my journey, I was pressed but not crushed. In the struggles, I was knocked down but not destroyed and dreaming big. I gained experience and learned from my mistakes. The ring became the breeding ground of my dreams. Thank you very much for this distinct honor and recognition. To never give up, I decided to sacrifice. But not only that, I decided to trust God. He formed my destiny, me in my mother's womb. He formed me from nothing into something. I applaud your victory as trainer of the year. Coach, you're the man. <laughs> the countless Filipinos all over the world, you are my strength. I am Emmanuel Dapidran Pacquiao. I am proud to be a Filipino. Come on, get some noise. <laughs> I mean, Manny Pacquiao has shown you he fought the young lion, he beat him, and now he can he can do whatever he wants. This is Manny Pacquiao we're talking about. Yeah, we've been good, man. I'm ready for the rematch. You want a rematch? I'm ready for the rematch, man. Wow. Oh! For the money, if the money's big enough for a fight, Canelo. We'll meet Pacquiao with a catch weight. Oh! The Money Pacquiao fight, we have both signed and uh, the fight is done. He, he said that there is a fight between you two signed for November 8th? No, that's not true. Oh, I don't know that news. Um, I don't have an idea. I was surprised when I learned about that news. I was told that the, the, this, um, the contracts between myself and Money Pacquiao have been signed maybe later in the year. Both Garcia. Both Garcia. <laughs> Let's get it on, but one one at a time. I've heard rumblings from Eddie that he wants to match you with Pacquiao in July, maybe in Saudi Arabia. I mean, I haven't discussed anything like that. And Just the money Mikey Garcia w wants is obscene. He can't draw anything. Looking for bigger things. Manny Pacquiao, maybe the rematch with Earl Spence. See you guys again. Thank you. The return of Crawford? Later this month. Bob, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. But with Manny Pacquiao, he'll move on to bigger things now. I think, he, uh, you know, in the Thurman, I think these fights, which I think is a very bad fight for him, are not really big money fights for him. So there's only very few money fights left for him. Uh, I think I'm... You're... Oh! One second, guys, yes. Pop! Over. Feel good today because Manny Pacquiao is going to get beat tomorrow. So what does it mean to you to not have those fights available yet at 47? That's the thing, you know. My, my career is going upwards. Mm -hmm. Terrence Crawford, if he was a fighter who could be competitive with a Manny Pacquiao? Well, I don't know. A lot of my matchmakers think that Manny is too much for him. He is vulnerable to a good southpaw punch. You know, he leaves himself open a little bit. Trying that, does that work? Oh! The splitting counter is another signature punch for Pacquiao that is vulnerable to Crawford. I know it's changed. I don't make any mistakes ever. I look for habits, and habits are something they can't get rid of, and something you can take advantage of at all times. So I followed Freddie's advice and studied tape in slow motion, and one of Crawford's habits 
is that he drop his guard down and leave his chin in the air. With a speed advantage, Pacquiao has a punching flow, synced with his footsteps. I found it as a repeatable habit, even in his last fight, which created an opening to land clean shot and clip him down. This habit was carried out with Crawford throughout the years since the amateur days. Would I fight Pacquiao? Of course. Be like, hey, fight Triple G, fight Mike Tyson. What street? This is boxing. Uh, they named the welterweight champions. I didn't see your name on that list. How'd you re react to that? I just laughed, you know? He, and he has Crawford, what is he doing for him? I actually feel kind of bad that Crawford might not even get to the Hall of Fame one day because Bob can't get him a fight. You know, and I felt like he ran. He ran from you? Hey. What, what, would, you, what would you do if he came in with that shit on you? <laughs> that was not a slip. Manny Pacquiao, how do you make that happen? It was close to securing the Pacquiao fight prior to this fight, but being that the COVID money was there, it had been committed. It was a fight that was gonna take place in a country in the Mideast. And that country said, you can't do it because I can't guarantee that we'll allow spectators. Bob Arum believes that Terence Crawford actually cost him money. He says he may be the greatest fighter in the world, but hey, I ain't going bankrupt trying to promote him and bringing him back. I could build a house in Beverly Hills on the money I've lost on him in the last three fights. Uh, Terrence Crawford is scheduled to be a free agent come October. So I like Earl Spencer fight, but on his last performance against Mikey Garcia, I it was terrible. It was really, you couldn't stop his blowing up 35 pounds. It was a really ordinary fight. There's better guys out there that deserve it, shot more than Floyd. Manny wants it because he wants to play revenge. Are you back? Yeah. Okay. Just matching the champ. Oh, great. Three times. Oh. I'm talking about Manny Pacquiao today. Huh? Manny Pacquiao. Hey, really? Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, the next fight I do want is Manny Pacquiao. Errol Spence Jr. claims that he is the shot caller Crawford and Khan generated. 100,000 people view by that is Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman that fight generated 500,000 pay-per-view by half a million he has the pedigree the resume their legacy in regards to Errol Spence I don't think Manny Pacquiao can beat Errol Spence it's a weird aura around this Manny Pacquiao I think I put him in, at number one and I think the rest of us just kind of uh, falling in line right behind him one or two fighters that uh, is on top on your top two list, who would it be? Eros Spence and uh, Garcia. Mikey, Mikey Garcia. Garcia. I don't know if he has enough to win, but I know he has enough to face. I don't want to see him get hurt. I think the speed, the, the speed in Pacquiao will, will make a big difference on Eros Spence. The volume of work on Manny Pacquiao will make a difference. Just think of that. If he if he lost one round, one extra round, or took one round off, robbed him. That's how ruthless they are. To do that to a legend, he's a mother are just flat out evil. Oh no, he better not face Errol Spence. And this ain't throwing no shades at Errol Spence. This ain't throwing no shades at every, anybody else that people be like, oh, you better not fight, oh, this person. This is actually throwing shades at Manny Pacquiao. People throwing shades at Manny Pacquiao. Like how many times does the guy have to prove to you? Now, whoever it is that fights Spence, they need to be softened up because they don't have that much faith. Whoa. That's why. They're just scared because they don't know how to build fighters. They don't know how to promote fighters. They don't know what the hell they're doing. So Pacquiao released a Twitter poll asking the fans who he should fight next. Guess who was missing? Harold Spence. Oh, oh needless to say, uh, Floyd Mayweather was the overwhelming favorite of the fan. Pacquiao wants a shot at the winner of Earl Spence Jr. and Mikey Garcia. Mm. 
Yeah, I know that's just bad. You want that dub on your resume that you put Packy out of sleep. That's what you want on your resume. Uh, definitely. Your, ir your idols become your rivals. You know what I mean? He wants a Floyd rematch. Yeah. Man, stop. Leave Floyd alone. Do you like the fight with Errol Spence? Yeah. Is, is Errol better than we thought, you think, after watching him tonight? Say whatever. So is there any chance we get that fight next, though, Manny? But the guy came up too weight class. You supposed to be able to put him away, Earl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I just wanted to show a different game. I th think I wanted to show that I could box. I mean, uh, Manny Pacquiao, he's blood and guts. So that would definitely be a great fight. He's a future Hall of Famer. <laughs> How much of it tonight was just the skills you think, Manny? The skill, uh... <laughs> Errol Spence, he's a, he's a great young fighter. He's 25 and all with 21 knockouts, but who is he? What has he done? He's he's a stationary target. I did train Errol Spence when I was on the Olympic team. And he is a very good fighter. I want to see him fight a Danny Garcia or Sean Porter and then call it a day. Pacquiao to f now if this was prime Pacquiao I wouldn't care I would not care because he'd whoop Spence's ass Spence should be fighting guys his own size at 154 and 160 pounds but he's not doing that see and I'm not counting Pacquiao out against Spence I just think at this stage you know that might be a little bit much for him you know th these are dangerous fights for him at this point can you be the man to retire him Oh, definitely. I can't give him that retirement check. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, Pacquiao's just a difficult guy to get prepared for because there's no one like him. There's no sparring like him. You know, Manny Pacquiao, he's a hard puncher. You know, um, he's quick, but, you know, he lacks fundamentals. Manny's very powerful. Punch is very different than Spence. Spence is thud thudding and heavy. Manny's very explosive and fast, you know, so uh, Manny's is much more shocking. I think if he were to ever fight Spence, he'd need to be Manny of old, firing from all angles being difficult to catch. I mean, I'm not sure if he can do that anymore. I don't know. I'd rather not see that fight happen, honestly. Do you think he beats Manny? I know. Uh, you don't know. Hard. You're not. Because you know, if I go, he throws, he's faster. If he keeps fighting, you shouldn't fight Earl Spence. There's one thing of proving yourself worthy. He's already done that. Spence is fucking an enormous welterweight, first of all. And he actually is good at jumping back very fast. So when Manny Lee jumps in, he's gonna have that long jab. Maybe a prime Manny, maybe, you know, that's a totally different story, but now... Nah, man. Dude, do you guys not know how big Spence is for a welterweight? Just, why? Why? He's probably gonna do it, though. The thing is, he's probably gonna fight Errol Spence. He's f***ing crazy. He's gonna try to skyrocket Spence, you know, through Pacquiao. Very keen to fight uh, Earl Spence, but unfortunately Earl decided to do an evil Knievel in his car. Like, horrific, I'm a car accident. How does he feel? We don't know. You look good, how are you feeling? How is your health? I'm feeling good. What do you remember from it, Errol? Um, I don't really remember too much. It's just a blessing just to be here and I'm very gracious of it. Pack out, you know, that's the guy that I'm looking to fight. We really have to try to make sure that he's all the way back put together before he throws himself just in a no big fight with Danny Garcia or Pacquiao. Back in the office. Back in the office, yes, sir! So tell the guy you're not going to ask him to retire now. You're... I think that's great. He got the win. He went out on a big note. I would recommend that this is the time for him to hang it up. I feel like uh, young, like uh, late 20. Do you think you'll fight till 45? Do you think you'll get there? My feeling right now, I, I can say yes might just be the most dangerous welterweight in the world right now because of the fact that he still has his speed, he definitely still has his power, and he's got the best resume at welterweight right now. He's the most experienced fighter. That's a lethal combination right there. I feel like empty and lonely when, when I don't have boxing in my career, in my life. So boxing is my passion and I want to, you know, working hard. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. Nearly one half of the fighters who have stayed in the game long enough will experience something they called being, quote, punch drunk. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy is not a new disease. The concept has been around since 1928 when Harrison Martin first described changes in boxers and the sort of punch drunk syndrome. 
dementia pugilistica. Not everyone is going to develop CTE. Not everyone who gets in the head is going to develop a neurological disorder. As a comparison, we have a brain with chronic traumatic encephalopathy and a normal boxer's brain. What we're seeing here is clearly the enlargement of the ventricle, uh, ventri lateral ventricles is very apparent here in the case of CTE. Definitely don't want to be doing this game for too long, that's for sure. You don't want to be battered up, bruised. Um, I've got those two beautiful daughters. It actually took a very tough beating to get me out of the sport. Manu Pacquiao. Manu Pacquiao. But I'm glad he did, because it made me retire. Hitting me 15 times, da! And then I would be ready to hit him, and I couldn't pull the trigger. I just couldn't pull the trigger. I want some of these young lions. No, I, I think that, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. You shouldn't do that. Manny Pacquiao has been one of the great fighters of our time, and God forbid if he gets hurt. I still respect and thankful to Bob Aram for what he has done. Sure. I got the job done right the first time. On Tuesday afternoon, the so-called pretty boy Floyd received a skin-tightening facial treatment. And to the dismay of several members of the media, Floyd announced he would no longer be showing up after eight hours of waiting. Well, if that fight happens, then it's probably worth worth it to do. Yeah, because that would be a big, big fight. No, I think Pacquiao would win that. The Mayweather rematch still lingers on for him, like the really? champ, but... Yeah, yeah. And now that you've announced that you're gonna make an announcement, are you then going to announce that you're in negotiations and then will later on make another announcement so you can continue to keep your name dangling in, in the public? Man, Floyd Money Mayweather did go on social media and announce that he would be coming out of retirement in 2020. And Gracie, I want to say thank you. It's an honor to come to Saudi Arabia to sit down with you guys to talk about the Mayweather Pacquiao rematch. Saudi Arabia, Floyd Money Mayweather, I'm on my way. Is it the beginning of a rematch though? That's the big I question. I think so. Floyd came out on social media. I guess they are trying to get that fight together. All I can say is I don't know if that video was recent, if that video was before, but there's been a lot of talk about possibly the senator fighting um, Floyd Mayweather in Saudi Arabia. Oh, by the way, what about uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Did we hear anything from him? No, we didn't. He's not going to fight a, a healthy Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, please, please. Am my kickboxer or my boxer? You see a lot of you see a lot of on this. Everything is always on my terms. I'm the A side, always. I'm not going to fight in the MMA ring, Floyd. He seems like he's not talking any anymore, and he seems like he's uh, getting a little chubby. He's not at work. His work ethic isn't quite there anymore. I said, Floyd, what happened? Freddy, spicy man. Floyd Mayweather, if you want a real fight, fight me. 
If you want an exhibition, my guy, I'm ready. Anytime, any place. Why not me, Floyd? Why not me? You never wanted to fight me? I'm, I was right there, right underneath you for years. I was the number one contender in the WBA. It's the way he fight. He set, he set traps for other fighters. It's the way he can line up all his arsenal, use different angles to win no fighter. I touch him, I touch him. Slide, touch him with the right hand. We wrestle a little bit. Floyd Mayweather said he's fighting Matty Pacquiao. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, you know, when a guy gets older and that doesn't fight for years and comes back, he's nothing. Great fighters fight when they're older. You have a better matchup because That's what I was gonna the ask. reflexes aren't there. They can't do certain things. They're still really, really, really good. Did the injury occur during the, during the course of the fight or training, anything like that? When training. Came four weeks before the fight. We had to send all the sparring partners home. We couldn't even spar. My role was <laughs> to cancel the fight, but everyone else says we can. Does this come as a surprise to you? Uh, yes. You know, Floyd did a lot of flashy things, but Manny was really the aggressor. He was the one that, that brought the fight. Basically, a guy with one arm was throwing punches for 12 rounds. After the fight, you never, you never got winning. You never went and got surgery to get it repaired. Choose after the fight. Went straight from Vegas to LA and then straight into surgery. Right. Did you I, try I, to prevent I, it? I didn't try to stop the fight until I found out that the injury was that bad. It would need surgery to fix. So we had made a, an agreement that Mayweather could shoot his hands up, which he does quite often because he has very fragile hands. And we had Manny could get a painkiller for his for his shoulder. But the night of the fight. He was allowed to use it, and we weren't. Mayweather's camp know that he had an injured shoulder. Yes. I think Floyd got to somebody because he he's a powerful person in he, Especially in Las Vegas. He says, yeah. yeah. Right? Yes. Even though Manny Pacquiao fought in a style that we never see him fight in, I still think he dictated the pace of that fight. I will watch this fight. Why are we here? There was so much money at stake there, Freddie. That's why it wasn't going to get Canceled. Yes, but I wasn't powerful enough to stop that fight from happening. When are they going to do it? I have no idea, but of course that affects everything that's going on for everybody. Well, listen, who's going to run against that? Yeah. yeah Which Pacquiao one? Pacquiao again. Floyd Pacquiao out again. Because something yeah. might be different. You know what I mean? Know? Floyd is a little bit older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would sell. It's, it's true. It's true. We all have a lot of God given abilities, and if we don't continue to work on those God given abilities, they will start to decline. How does he end his career then? Uh, I know, but it's not for me to tell. But and everybody knows which fight is coming next. Yeah, Mayweather arriba del ring. Indica algo, no? Yo pienso que esa pelea puede puede estarse cocinando. Just for the fun of it, why don't we get in there with Mayweather? Just again. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's a better fight now, I think. I'm, st I'm still retired. This time around, they would make, they would still make, they would still make good money. We trying to get to Floyd Pacquiao again. Yeah. Floyd doesn't want anything to do with Pacquiao after that performance. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Si, si, con, con, con Mayweather sería una pelea increíble, muy buena, muy buena pelea. I think he's gonna fight Floyd. I seen Floyd up there, so I don't know. Maybe, probably they wanna fight again. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, my my way. Everybody will see that fight. But we we want a, a, a rematch because the the people is uh, you know a lot of a uh, question mark in their mind. So, well, well you know, if, 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 I'm gonna just say this right here. If he will. I know that uh, you didn't, uh, it's, it's what's going to happen, for real. Oh, so that means there's talks right now, right? He's coming back. Oh, yes. They, they were speaking about fighting, though. It's going to be a terrible thing. And everything's about time. We couldn't choose a better time. When you lose, it's in your mind. This will conclude today's press conference. Thank you for everyone for coming out. Made it almost 2015. Exactly. Yeah. Is that a possibility? No, I don't think so. No. He's afraid of losing. I mean, he's not <laughs> yes. afraid of, of um, 
101%. Thank you. <laughs> so, so Manny, Manny, Freddie Roach says that you wanted this fight. I'm inspired right now. I'm just inspired to beat him up. Today, Manny Pacquiao is the past. Is the end of his legacy and the beginning of mine. And next thing you know, he's down and they're counting. I just want to be the best that I can be. I want to be the very best. If I lose to Manny Pacquiao, I'm cutting my hair. First things first, we cut the hair, all right? Me versus Pac-Man Pacquiao. <laughs> Don't miss it. All respect, he will disappear. It's about to be his last fight. It's your boy one time. He is not walking away, sweetheart. Believe that, okay? The way he hops around in the ring, I'm not gonna lose to no bunny rabbit. Believe that, okay? He's gonna hip hop and you don't stop until he gets dropped. You feel me? So they need me. And um, I'm coming for him. I don't like it, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see July 20th. Useless words before the fight. I mean, I know he likes to quote Bible verses, so I'll let you know he's getting crucified. He's talking too much. Pacquiao's humble. He's quiet, and he's going to show you come fight night. Respect the legend. <laughs> oh, his family felt it. Oh, when I said I'm going to crucify the man, ooh, they said, ooh, <sighs> It's almost as if they had a crown of thorns on them themselves. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have said that, Keith. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Pacquiao. Pussy! Oh. Made Pacquiao T-Rex arms. Bop, bop, bop. We will use that in the ring. Swing, swing. Time to hold. Time to hold. Everything that he was doing. He was able to get away with it. That was tremendous. The fan jumped up and did a Superman punch in the background. Uh, you know. And Karma's a bitch. So. Manny Pacquiao is not going to be able to catch me, you know. I believe after I hit him, you know, the fight's over. He's going to go backstage, and God will have that conversation with him. It will make it a better fight. If he don't show up, it's over. <laughs> Much, much taller than me. Nobody will to believe me. But did I get you mad, Pacquiao? That's what the world wants to know. Was, was Pacquiao mad mad? Hashtag mad mad? <laughs> I'm mad. I'm talking in, in action. When it comes here, and I come there, and I turn this there, night night. Round one. Whoa. 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 Jab, jab, duck, move. Right hand, left hook. Head, head, body, head. Okay? Jab, 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 duck, move. Right hand, left hook. Head, head, body, head. Okay? One time can happen to one time. Thurman talking uh, trash talk. Come July 20th, he will disappear. It's not helping him, it's helping me. If you can beat me, I'm not gonna lose to nobody around it. This ain't Adrian Bro. This will be Manny Pacquiao's last fight. Give me more motivation. In the and I have single-handedly swayed people to, to bet on Manny Pacquiao just because of my videos, right? I don't think so. The boxing world knows. Keith One Time Thurman is really, really talking it up a lot. Bow down in the middle of the ring. I'll say, oh, Senator, oh, Senator, great as ye, oh, Senator. Oh, Senator, oh, Senator, great as ye, oh, Senator. I promise I'd say that if he won tonight. And in and out. In and out. He might want to continue, but you know, I'm going to change my man. Right? I'm going what did he do to Jeff Horn? He beat Jeff Horn. No. He no. beat Jeff Horn. No. No, he didn't have him out. He, he was just he about out. He went on the record and he said that Jeff Horn never fought dirty before this fight. So to me, that is an example of him not knowing what to do against a guy like Pacquiao. Explain 11 more times what the f 
He oh. did. Manny Pacquiao didn't do a goddamn thing. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Else. Jeff Horn was like this. Yeah. Yeah, he was in. He Duck. dropped him up. Duck. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me Manny did something? No, he didn't! That's the day I gave him the nickname T-Rex on. So this yeah. is what you're gonna see. Okay. Miss. Miss? You're gonna see not touch. Yeah. Not touch. If it touched, what happened? Bop. Bop. the Jeff Horn, bro. I feel a bit tired, a bit bruised, but I feel like a winner. <laughs> <laughs> you are one. <laughs> <laughs> he better twist my f***ing head. Uh -huh. oh. When you step, when you go to attack, yeah. that's a commitment. I can... When I move, you move. Just, just like, like that. that. When I move, you move. <laughs> just like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm only gonna be here one time. Oh. Well, I enjoy Akuma with that whole like, <laughs> and the raging demon, bro, the raging demon. You know? Let not the wise boast about their wisdom or the strong boast about their strength. That I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness. <laughs> Do you sense if he's ever bothered by comments? I, I heard that the crucifixion. He I mean, he is, I like that because he does it. I, I do like when Manny doesn't like his opponent because he does fight better. I feel bad for Phil. The last thing you want to do is piss off Pacquiao. Thurman's Thurman's young, young, kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, do you, how do you rate Keith? Do you rate him? I did to have his mouth. But it's truly out of respect. He needs to go be a senator. Manny Pacquiao gets knocked out by Keith Thurman. He's still Manny Pacquiao. It gives me more it's motivation. Different. It does. Okay. Yeah, it's, and I like it's that. Different. I like that because oh, that's um, not this guy. Not, not <laughs> but Keith Thurman is the next one. When you heard him up here talking about he's going to end your career, this would be the last fight for Manny Pacquiao. How did you feel? I feel motivated because of what he said. <laughs> we'll see. I'm excited for that. He need to prove it in the ring. And I was like, now you just stupid. I mean, now he, you just say stupid. He does. He did admit that no, he's saying it for shock value, and it's to sell a fight. Rude and insulting. Not even smart trash talking, which makes you look stupid. Yeah. You said you were crucifying. I mean, it's over, bro. It's over. Um, Manny Pacquiao has T-Rex arms. I don't know if you noticed that. I do not believe that he belongs at the top of 147 today. Mama said I look good in a suit. I don't think she want to see her boy getting punched on TV, being getting beat up by old men. You better rock with Manny Pacquiao. I'm telling you that now. Last time I checked, 40 is greater than 30. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a human being, it's human nature. Man, I really just try to keep it light. I try to have a fun time. Just another fight, it's just another black eye, baby. Come on. Hearing that your lovely wife is going to be in the stands for the very first time watching you fight. Think there's going to be any pressure there? Is that going to change anything? Ah, any uh, nah, man, you know. Uh, you had me on the ropes. <laughs> My whole family was watching. If I got to deal with this right now, you got to deal with this right now. We know Manny Pacquiao is not a technical fighter. I need to <laughs> You're going to be entertained from the start of the bell. Get me. Get me. How do you respond to those comments? He said he was going to definitely knock you out. Oh. <laughs> the Pac-Man game is over. <clears throat> If you have Keith Thurman hurt, are you going to go for the finish?
Speed is um, one of the key in, 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 in boxing. It's almost as if they had a crown of thorns on them themselves. Um, how do you feel about Keith Thurman um, attacking him? The thing he's saying is going to crucify him. How do you take all those comments? Uh, Keith Thurman is talking too much. I know what he's feeling, but he cannot. He doesn't want to see that because you know he's a born again Christian. Yeah. Make him pay with his fist, not yeah. with words. So I'll let you know he's getting crucified. The one he said that um, it's going to crucify me. What? Crucify. Why did that particular line bother you? Well, thank you, my friend. Permission first to your mom that you're going to sleep to the floor. Yeah! Why does you want to sleep? Okay. <laughs> of my experience in boxing, I want, I want, I want to teach him. I am going to teach him <laughs> like a professor. He's really They're casual. polite. Yes, polite. Very unlike <laughs> most. Don't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao goes night night. Would be good. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, tricks, uh, especially the uh, thing killing in the body. <laughs> <laughs> that Thurman will regret everything that he said on Saturday night. <laughs> the crucifixion uh, comment. Do you want to go head to head like that with Manny toe to toe? Uh, I mean, you know. Um, he was talking a lot of crap. Angry. Manny's always been accepting of people talking trash to him, but he never answered back. And he's finally answering back, right? Manny's usually pretty laid back, but he said he's got something to prove. Yeah, I believe it. It's gonna be a great man. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. You know, Keith did what he wanted to. Keith got under his skin. It's no good for fighter to be emotional. Uh, wants to punish him. Why is he always serious? Um, he just like to keep his mouth shut. Now he's very motivated. But yeah, I'm not gonna be surprised if uh, he'll retire after this fight. Who retired? Oh, uh, Thurman. <laughs> Manny has a sense of humor. There's always that silent guy who's doing his name. It's always a silent killer. Actually, Thurman's really helping him a lot. We got a big fight this Saturday against Keith. Talks a lot of mess. I'm sorry, Keith. One time Thurman. It's helping me, not helping him, but because it gave me more uh, motivation, uh, determination, focus. I kind of irritated you a little <laughs> bit, didn't it? And this guy did me a favor by talking, by talking and getting me right. a little angry. Yeah. 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 Keith Thurman looking intense. He's trying to look through Manny Pacquiao, but Manny Pacquiao didn't dream. Oh, it's all set for tomorrow. He's trying to intimidate me, but I'm not. You Thurman talk so much trash, and they just want to see, they want to see someone knock out Thurman. Man, it's going down. Just like the dinosaurs, man, that motherfucker is going to be extinct after the night, boy. What is the lesson that you want to teach him tonight? Understood. They have that intensity, you got to hold. Hold. I'm not looking into his eyes, I'm looking into his soul. Oh, I feel that, man. That's a, you know. What the hell? Thurman's definitely crying right now. Thank you, Kid Thurman, después de que perdió y por decisión dividida contra Manny Pacquiao. Did you expect him to be that way? It must be very embarrassing for him right now to, to be talking all that and then going in there and getting beat by a, an older guy. Keith, what do you think you would have done differently if you had a chance to do it again? <laughs> yeah, a little bit better defense. It's a school where the school all gather To learn all of life's mysteries And those are what we can You remember Street Fighter, right? Of course. What did Barack used to say? No. I got paid! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
world champion. Uh, he really does have that hand speed. He jumps in and out. It was the hunger of getting over on, uh, on Keith because of the trash talking. I don't know if we need that, but the thing is, it, it does. It, it did help him this fight, and I've seen it in the past before. It gave him a good reason to show his anger. game over baby it's game over read the back do you want to continue the answer is no you cannot continue the game is over